whenever you're ready. Today is April the 28th. It's the second day of the main conference, the four days of the conference. And we started doing a variety of new things. Uh, in the morning, I went to a parallel conference that was held with over 100 youth uh, meeting on climate change. Uh, we try and encourage um, the local organizers to do a parallel conference on, with local youth, uh, which we've done last year in Nepal, the year before that in uh, Bangladesh and also in Vietnam in, in previous years. Uh, they have, uh, un unusually this year, the youth are not only from Kenya, they managed to bring quite a few uh, people from other countries, uh, courtesy of uh, IDRC and a couple of other sponsors. I spent the morning with them, they were tremendously energetic and had lots of questions and it was good fun. Uh, they will be allowed to bring a statement to our conference at the closing session, so we'll get a statement from the youth conference that's happening in parallel. Uh, I then came back to our uh, main conference and we've had a number of out-of-the-box sessions, uh, a game playing by Pablo Suarez and Karina, uh, colleagues at the Red Cross uh, Climate Center who do some wonderful game playing and people learn through playing games. Uh, we also had a, a session on videos and learning from videos and evaluating the, the output of videos uh, as well. And we're now going to have a session on tackling or tracking climate finance at the national and local level. So lots of things happening now. Uh, the, the energy is very high. Everybody is very keen to uh, contribute and do things. Um, we are hoping that we'll get contributions towards a, a special issue of a journal, which will focus on the issue of measurement and, and enhancing effective adaptation. A lot of people are interested in contributing. Uh, we'll make a decision on that tomorrow. We're looking for uh, people to uh, volunteer to write chapters for that. And we'll do a high-level statement aimed at Paris, the conference of parties that will take place there. Uh, these will all culminate on the 30th at the last session. Um, we have also made a number of t-shirts that you see me wearing and modeling. Um, we were going to sell them uh, uh, normally, but we've now decided to sell them but donate the proceeds of all the sales that we get to uh, the Nepalese uh, earthquake victims. There's uh, a Nepalese group here in Nairobi who have very kindly offered to uh, arrange to uh, make sure that it reaches them. We have a group of Nepali uh, participants here and one of them spoke very movingly and eloquently today uh, in gratitude to the support that he's been getting and all of them have been getting from all the participants here. All of our hearts go out to the Nepalese and we've been praying for them and comforting our Nepalese colleagues to the extent that we can do so. This is the end of my second day blog. I'll be doing another one tomorrow.